Hey guys, welcome back to the channel brought to you by Tech with Scott. And today, people, let's discuss something that's uh, going around on the internet, you could say, something somewhat popular out there, um, made by one of the most, I want to say, iconic tech companies ever made. Um, also very controversial company with the products they release. Um, certain ones are hits, certain ones are massive flops. If I focus on the flops real quick, um, what was that called? Air Power or something like that, uh, that Apple made a, a few years back. I want to say it was Air Power. I, I'm not, I'm not sure. Someone correct me in the comment section, but basically the, the wireless charging pad that you could place any Apple device on and it could wirelessly charge it massive flop they just got rid of it swept it under the rug i'm sure there's other examples i'm missing um but in this video let's talk about their most recent uh sort of device that they released to the public um or announced to the public it's not even out yet um i'm pretty sure it's not out until next year uh someone fact check me on that but i'm pretty sure that's true and Without even, obviously, you know I'm going to talk about the price tag in this. If anyone knows my videos, I always talk about price. It's my, one of my like core components to reviewing any sort of technology. And as you can see, well, I'm not sharing my screen yet. But um, this thing costs a lot of money. And in a time where the economy is suffering, people, wage growth, is, uh, wage growth is starting to pick back up, but... Um, like people are struggling to, to you know, make everyday purchases. Some like was it like ninety percent of people don't have a thousand dollars, um, in like a backup savings if they re or emergency fund or something. I don't even know. Um, I'm just referencing random statistics I've heard. Uh, you have to really ask yourself like who is, who's this device for? And I think once we nail that down, then we can fully investigate like the overall practicality of this thing um so so let me go ahead and share my screen we can um we can dive right into it i'm gonna drop my volume just a just a tad uh because i think i'm peaking a little bit um <laughs> this is this device just like if i'm just ranting here right this, this video is gonna have minor editing in it basically next to none it I, it just shocks me how Apple keeps coming up with these devices that just cost an absurd amount of money, but yet the public loves it. And they don't. I feel like when these tech reviewers go to these events and they're actually like seeing this this tech and Apple's letting them test out for the first time, I think they kind of like just disregard the price of this. They just look at this shiny new object. And Apple's great at presentation, by no means. Um, or like, don't get me wrong, they are fantastic at presentation both um visual presentation as um as well as sort of data visual visualization um all that sort of stuff they really know how to present a product to the to the to the mass market and they and they really um they really they really know how to get people excited about stuff um and this is like this is just one of those cases again where this headset isn't doing too much that's new. It's doing new stuff. To, uh, don't get me wrong, but it's not doing a ton of stuff that that's new. I mean, you see, I mean, you look around at um, like Oculus and the Meta, the Meta headset that Facebook created. Like to me, like this stuff. Apple always does this thing where they come out with a product like years after the technology's already been invented. For example, um, that new contact sharing feature on the most recent iPhone that I talked about in one of my previous videos. Like that's just NFC that Android's had for years, but they come out with it and they Apple fi it, if that's even a real word word, and and they, they add their own spin to it. And um and and it just people go nuts over it, especially Apple fans. Um, I will always be a diehard Android fan. Um, I'm always waiting for the next Android to come out where I can switch back. It's just social pressure that keeps me on Apple right now, if I'm being completely honest with my fans um, in all transparency. I'm not a massive fan of Apple devices. 
Um, I use specific features on them for very specific tasks, such as video editing, photo editing, and just checking analytics on YouTube. But like other than and maybe like watching YouTube. Um, but other than that, like I like Android for the, like the raw horsepower and the diversity and the specs that you can get on each device and the really cool innovative features that they add. And Apple to me is the opposite where they're just lagging behind a lot of this stuff. Just give me one sec. I need coffee. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I'm tired right now. It's like a Saturday morning pumping out this video, but it's for the fans because I know you guys like watching this stuff. Um, let me share my screen and so we can just like hop into like start talking about this stuff because I just I just think this is super interesting. Um, <laughs> the, one of the first things I noticed, one of the very first things I noticed about um, just the uh, obviously I do my research on um, uh, other tech channels and like what they're pumping out for content and uh as you can see we're seeing some trends ladies and gentlemen with uh thumbnail styles not really uh actually actually i was gonna say it's only thumbnails that i'm seeing a consistent theme but now i'm starting to see a title theme as well as in like i tried i'm seeing that in a lot of these videos like i tried the new apple vision pro even though they didn't and they just clickbait um <laughs> and everyone's using the same exact thumbnail style so i'm not good with photoshop enough or sorry graphic design enough to know how they're actually doing that and making the middle look transparent to make it look like they're actually using the headset so don't expect me to figure that out for this thumbnail i'll attempt it but don't don't uh if future scott if you is watching this i'll uh i'll see if um he figured it out but anyway i just found it comical how everyone's um sort of thumbnail style is the exact same and yeah a lot of these people they um they look shocked at it and uh i've heard mostly positive things on the internet about this headset and all transparency uh, mkbhd is one of the most reliable sources i think for technology i don't think he's biased much um he doesn't really need to be biased. He makes so much money off his channel. Like he's not being like paid to say things by these companies. He doesn't need the money. But anyway, yeah, comical how all these tech YouTubers are doing these like funny sort of thumbnails. Anyway, that's besides the point. I wanted to bring up a clip real quick that sort of talks about like it talks about um May, it, like basically is this she asked Tim Tim Cook here uh, CEO of Apple she, she basically is asking him like is this headset going to cause basically I want to call it the COVID effect of people sitting in their houses never leaving never getting any social interaction with other human beings isolation is I think the word I was looking for like is this going to isolate human beings from one another to the point where we're going to be living in sort of um that video game what is that what's that video game this is gonna kill me now ready player one where everyone and also like sort of the matrix where we're all just living in these headsets and we're all you know there's no more human to human interaction connection anymore and we just i don't know like live on our devices even more than we already were with the current state of things with with iPhones and smartphones and tablets and laptops like is this going to cause humans to go back to COVID times where we never interacted face to face um and I really like Tim Cook's answer here not because it's a good answer just because he really knows how to um answer questions by not answering them and just claiming the opposite of what the question's getting at that. It's a major point that, that uh, I work, but he did folks who worry about isolation, yeah. that it will cause you to be more isolated. Have you addressed that? It's a major point that, that was a design point of ours from the start. Right. It's a design point. So it's a design point from the start. They designed a VR AR headset to be more social. That makes tons of sense right doesn't that go against the definition of like a virtual reality reality headset i'm sorry tim cook 
this it, this doesn't this doesn't compute with my brain. We, this is not about isolation. This is this is what professional speakers do. Is they like they they say it's not about this. It's about this, even though it is about the thing she's asking about. But he's really good at diverging and like getting away from what she's saying and like going into his little monologue. This is about connection. Right, right. Buzzwords, buzzwords. It's about connection. No, it's not. It's it's connecting to the internet. That's what that's what you're connecting with the internet. But as we've seen with the rise of social media, social media does not make people feel more social. That's just my personal opinion. Um, you may have a differing opinion. I'd love to hear it in the comments section. Obviously, I'm, everyone has different opinions. But to me, social media hasn't made me, more people social. I think it's actually led to more isolation, and you can look at depression statistics to back that up. Um, so anyway, yeah, he's he's uh, getting into the... He's, he's basically going to say, like, it's about connecting. We designed it based on connection. This is about having people there that feel like they're there with you. When you talk... What does that even mean? What? I feel like I'm with someone. And, like, you'll see, like, in the, you saw in the um, the marketing for this, they basically, they basically, uh, like, kept showing people, like, with the headset on, interacting with, um, like, their families. It was, like, super weird. And the one dad is, like, sitting there taking pictures in front of his family and he's like just staring at them recording them it's just like it's like you're not i know what he's getting at he's like oh you like the augmented reality part like you're actually there like interacting with people it's like no you're not you're staring at a head you have a giant headset on you look so strange if you were to be in public if someone ever wore this in public oh my god that'd be like insane but um but even if you're interacting with family members or friends with this headset on and they don't have one on, if everyone has one on, I I, I, I will say, like, that's kind of cool. If, ever, if Like, if you can play games with people in AR, not VR, I'd say AR, like, if you're all, like, sitting around each other and you can, like, play virtual games or augmented reality games. So, you, like, you can basically see the real world, but there's, like, you know, graphics and, and, and computer-generated gem- images popping up, um in front of you i think that could be cool but if you're the only one in the room and you're wearing the headset you kind of are standing out is the best way i'll put it talk about tech of course people want to know how much it'll cost (laughs) (laughs) 34.99 i can't i can't It'll cost thirty four ninety nine. Um, how much does like an Oculus cost? Three hundred dollars. Like, <laughs> what? How do you have the the cojones to um to just sit here and like price something that expensive? Jeez, man, that's like. That's like 10% higher, or I'm sorry, not 10% higher. That's like 10 times more expensive than like other headsets. And it'll be available early next year. It's the most. I was right about early next year. Let's go. Most advanced piece of electronics equipment out there. You know, I'm not going to disagree with him on that. Like the, the stuff this uh, headset can do is like super, super cool. Um, if I were to like go onto their website, Everyone can go on this website. Also, Apple's website design is really cool. Also can be really annoying how, like, you don't... Like, you scroll, but, like, you don't really scroll. It's kind of just, like, transitioning from image to image and text to text. But, yeah, like, let me just... This is cool, I think, browsing the internet, especially. And how you can, like, scroll using your um your finger. And also your clicker or your mouse or your cursor, however you want to say it. Uh... Like you just like tap, like tap, 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 and that's how you interact with it. It's the haptic feedback, man, that we're missing here. I wish we had the haptic feedback, but you can't do that, obviously, because you're not holding any controllers. But you can get that feedback with uh, the um, Oculus or like the MetaQuest Two thing. That's only three hundred dollars. That's ten percent of the price. It's tomorrow's engineering today, so you're going to live in the future. 
Also, how would that guy know that he was in between the two panels here, or virtual panels? How do you know that? I just thought about that. I don't know. Sure, and you're going to do it today. Do you think this is something that the average person will be able to afford? I okay, okay. She's asking this question because she knows the answer to the question, right? This is what news reporters do. They clearly have data and evidence to back up their questions, hence why they're asking him. But he's going to find a way to answer this in a roundabout way, not really addressing the question. Or he'll address it and just straight up say, no, I've seen this too. And then they'll just start doing a monologue. I don't know. I th That's a great answer too. I think people will make different choices depending upon their current financial situation. Mm -hmm. so okay, I take it back. That was a good answer. Um, yeah. Essentially what he's saying is like only people with a lot of money will pay for this. And he's probably, you know what he should say? You know what he should say? He's like, I know this is really expensive. This is what a good CEO would say. I know this is extremely expensive. And if you're if you're on a budget, I turn my volume down a little. If you're on a budget, don't buy this. It is not necessary. If you are looking to start a business and you're going to use up all your money to start this business because it's like, this is your fail safe. Like, this is it. You're about to go broke. You have like, say you have like $1,000 in your bank account. A little more. $2,000 in your bank account. And you need something to start your business and access the internet. Say you're starting an online business and you need a computer. What are you going to buy with two grand? I would go out and buy my own PC, either pre-built or just build it myself to save money. Maybe get a MacBook, um, uh, since you can video edit and photo edit on MacBooks. Um, why would you buy this? Like, why would you buy this? I don't know. I, I wouldn't. I mean, that's just, that's the thing. It's like, I would never pay for this. Whoops. Why would anyone looking to start a business pay $3,500 for a VR AR headset? That's what I'm just going to keep calling it because it's a combination of both. For the engineering and depth of engineering in it is mind blowing. You've Don't disagree with that. You've got more than a 4K experience in each eye. What if you're blind? Apple, I think you're being discriminatory towards blind people with this. Although I couldn't see them. That'd be cool, though, if they actually, like, came out with a, um, if Apple created some sort of technology where you don't need to use your eyesight, something, like, for people that are visually impaired. That'd be pretty cool. It was, like, an audio experience, sort of, like, I don't want to say headphones, but it is kind of like headphones. If they, like, created an, a cool experience for blind people, uh, maybe through the power of Siri and AI to... Put a computer in their ears is what I'm trying to say. And, of course, it doesn't come for free. It, it costs right. something to do that. But I think it's a great value. No. When he said you want a great value? Go buy a MacBook. On sale, obviously. Don't pay full price. $34.99. I said, oh, $34.99. <laughs> that's, that's not bad. But no. That's a great deal. Oh, it's almost $3,500. Yeah, and I'm not paying for that. Don't expect me to, like, I know you guys are going to be watching this video and you're going to be like, Scott, go buy this headset. No, I am not buying this headset. I'm not, listen, I got rent now. Also, if you're watching this, subscribe uh, so I can get monetized. I'm kidding. Um, I'm not buying this. Apple, if you want to collab with me, maybe when you guys are watching this and I'm huge in, like, couple of years apple let's do a let's do a sponsorship i'll promote your stuff promise uh yeah kind of looks like an apple watch sort of uh app or ui there you know all this is like you guys can go read this for yourself like it's it's cool i'm not gonna bore you to death um let me come back here let me come back here my camera record uh yeah what was i gonna say i was going to say this is a very interesting device should you buy this no <laughs> straight up no unless you just have tons of money sitting around and you want to go interact in uh the virtual space you know virtual space um other than that 
it's cool. I like it. Uh, but it's not a value. It's not a good value proposition. You can buy a better computer for much less money. Um, and I realized I was ranting on this video for like 20 minutes, which is kind of, kind of crazy. Um, also, why is my camera following my face? Stay still. Um, yeah. If you guys enjoy this sort of like longer form content, uh, let me know. Subscribe. Now, I'm not going to even tell you. you can, you guys, if you really want to subscribe, you can subscribe. I'm not going to tell you to do it. If you watch my end screen, I'll tell you to do it, but not during my video anymore. You guys choose if you like this content or not. Um, I'll probably make some shorts out of this. I liked this episode. I kind of like doing this long form content. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video from uh, Tech with Scott. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching another video on my channel. If you're interested, click over here to subscribe to the channel and click over here for another amazing tech video review slash tutorial. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for checking out the channel. Appreciate all you guys. See you in the next video.